Hi guys, my name is Trin and today I'm here to do another stationery haul. I know that I did one like I think sometime in December if I remember correctly but I have another one for you because if you don't know recently I went to Vietnam however I had a layover in Japan. It was like a 19 hour layover so I was able to explore the country for like six to seven hours and you know I got some stationery items but basically this haul will have the items that I bought in Japan and also in Vietnam. Vietnam because obviously I bought a lot of stationary items so let's get started let me show you the two bags that I have so this bag has a lot of items or like all of the items that I bought in Japan and then this bag right here is um, the items that I bought in Vietnam let me zoom out a little bit but let's get started let's go over this bag you know I was very excited because um, Japan has a lot of really cool stationary items I mean I know that like the US has some cool stuff you know but Japan is like where is at you know and of course a lot of items are um, cheaper so let me just take out everything oh man I took out the packaging for a few items okay sorry about that let me try to remember the places that I went first so I went to this shrine I forgot the name but I'll have like the picture up on the screen I guess but I went to this really cool shrine and in the gift shop I bought a few items but let me try to differentiate everything I think when it comes to stationary items I only bought two things at this gift shop so let me show you what they are okay ignore that ignore that it's hard to yeah okay <laughs> Let me zoom in then. This card right here is so beautiful to me. It's a, what you call it? The kind of card that you write in, you know, to give to someone. So I bought this. I'm not gonna give this to anyone to be honest. I just want this because it's so pretty. And I think I'm gonna put this in my life journal. So this is what it looks like as you can see. And it's actually quite textured. And it's basically these two ladies in their kimono. And then we have cherry blossom here. So it's very pretty. And then it has this paper on the inside side oh right here and then a white envelope so yeah I bought this for myself <laughs> basically and then this brush pen I think the brand is Akashi Ya and um, before I went to Japan I actually watched this Japan stationery haul from Amina Rachley she did that video like three years wait back in 2019 that was four years ago sorry not three years ago four years ago that scares me but anyway um i watched that video again and i basically took notes on the items that she got you know because um i want to get like a few items for myself so i um saw this in her stationery haul and luckily i found this at the gift shop but i will say this was also at tokyo hands so i feel like this is almost everywhere i could be wrong though it's a what you call it a traditional japanese brush pen i believe well actually let me show you like the packaging is very pretty obviously there's like a lot of um, different colors there's like pink red green but I chose the sky blue with a bunch of designs on it and then the brush pen this is what it looks like I hope you can see that but it's a very like um, loose kind of brush pen like what you call it? the tip is very flimsy it's very soft it's very different from like the um, Tambo Funanosuke brush pen. Let me see if I can find it because I have it readily right here. Right here. So this one, the tip is actually a little bit harder. Like when you press on it, you can feel it. <laughs> I guess the, you know, it being hard, but this one is like really soft. So this one is gonna be interesting to write in. Let me see if I can write my name. interesting <clears throat> excuse me but yeah this is what the brush pen looks like i bought this because um i don't see this in america and of course i wanted to buy items that i know i cannot find in america you know like items that are only in japan i mean maybe this is also in america but you know maybe not <laughs> so i'm glad i bought this and this was very inexpensive i don't remember how much i pay for everything i'm not gonna lie but i remember it being like pretty affordable like two or three dollars i think definitely under five bucks if i remember correctly but yeah i'm glad i bought this and now i guess next is tokyo hands so if you don't know i guess like there are 
two stationary places that um, people recommend, Itoya and then Tokyo Hands. I did not go to Itoya even though I really wanted to. I just did not have the time. I only had six to seven hours in Japan, you know, like in the country. Like even though the layover was long, um, I had to sleep. <laughs> so when it comes to like exploring the country, I really did not have enough time. So I went to Tokyo Hands though. Oh my God. If you don't know, it's a department store that has like so many levels. And of course I went to level five, which has stationary items. So let me try to remember the items that I got. I think I mostly got stickers and these items here. So I guess let's talk about washi tape. I only got one and I got this one because I feel like it's perfect for Valentine's Day. And it's coming up. As you can see, it's pink and it has a lot of hearts. And that's basically it. <laughs> I just like it because it's like really simple and I don't have a washi tape like this so I'm glad I have it because like I said it's perfect for Valentine's Day or just anything um, cutesy and girly so I'm glad I have that and then these wow I'm so glad I have this because I actually wanted to like buy them you know and you know I'm glad I found them at Tokyo Hands but basically um, Amanda Richley bought this in her Japan stationery haul I saw it and I really wanted because I don't see this in the States and this is basically the palette juice paint pens or markers they're huge as you can see I will say the tip is so different from what Amanda showed in her video because I remember it was more rounded like you can write on it very easily but this one um, like the tip looks like a highlighter as you can see like when I do it like that it's just like really easy but I feel like if I were to write like it's hard I don't know oh like I had to do it like this I don't know or okay that's easier <laughs> I don't know that's interesting but this is um, silver as you can see I got the white one and the gold one as well there were a lot of colors but um, I chose the colors that I know I would use often and it's basically these three colors to be honest but the white one I don't even know yep um, what you call it it hasn't come out like because it's a um, paint marker you have to shake it for the paint to come out and then that's when you can finally use the markers yeah but it hasn't come out yet, but I don't feel like shaking it to be honest. This one, oh, it's about to come out, so let's shake this. Okay, it's showing up a little bit, but not a whole lot, but it's getting there. I think the annoying part about paint markers, I mean, if you've used any, you know what I'm talking about, but like the time that you or like the time and energy you just have to just like wait what am i saying but basically you just have to shake them a whole lot to get the paint out and it can be a pain sometimes because a lot of times they take forever to come out i'll figure them out later this one oh my god nothing's coming out yet but i'll figure it out and now stickers and whatever this is a folder and all that stuff but basically i got some stickers and i'm glad i got these because i think i'm sure that i saw this or like these kind of stickers online but because they're imported from japan i'm sure that they're a little bit expensive but in japan they're only like one or two dollars as you can see 242 yen i don't remember how much i pay but i bought you know a few that i really like this one has cherry blossom petals as you can see there are three sheets this one has um like flowers and then this one has um, a bunch of flowers as you can see and then this one has like lots of cute little symbols I like it because I don't know I think these look so cute um, but it has like flowers hearts um, balloons I don't know some cute cute stuff <laughs> cute designs but I got four sticker sheets very happy about this and then this one I saw this and I don't know I like it because I just like the aesthetic but basically this is a folder but it also has like other items inside so on the left side we have like um, uh, papers <laughs> notepads and not notepads but papers and as you can see is like purple here pink here very pretty and I think this is kind of perfect for my journal obviously or I can use this to write letters to other people so that's pretty nice and then on the right side here we have stickers I guess or like the, this is like something you put on the envelope you know and then here we have some envelope so yeah 
that's basically it for this I should have gotten more I will say because there are some really cute design but this is the one that I really love because I just really love the aesthetic obviously so there's that and now <laughs> um basically these are the things that i found at the airport i was at the hanana airport i think that's how you say it but basically i was killing time and i went to this gift shop and they have a lot of things you know and then of course they have some stationary goodies so i bought this but oh yeah it came it i took it out okay i took the items out but basically this is a demon slayer kit i would say because it has like a notebook and whatever this is so let's just go over this real quick um this is cute i was hoping that it would be a folder but it's not i don't know what this is that's the thing let me zoom you out but yeah i don't know what to do with this but basically oh if you don't know this is demon slayer i love demon slayer very much so on the right side here we have the main characters hi nezuko my love she's my favorite and then we flip it over you have the nine hashiras if you watch demon slayer let me know which one is your favorite my favorite is shinabu and then here we have the notebook and it's really cute on the front side on what on the front cover it has um tanjiro and then some scenes from the anime when you flip it over we have tomioka <laughs> i forgot his name for a second and then, you know some scenes from the anime and then when you flip it open of course you get the notebook and this is basically grid yeah it's not dotted and it's not lined this is grid but yeah this is a cute little notebook cannot wait to use this i like it a lot and then oh stickers yes some good demon slayer stickers cannot wait to use that eraser has tanjiro on the cover i actually used this um one time and it's really good like i like the eraser you know like the quality is good this one i think this is like the cap for the pencil you know um i don't have the pencil that they're looking for but like if i want to bring this with me but i don't want the I guess the pencil lead to like ruin my pencil case I can put the cap over it this one I have no idea what this is but it's basically like I think you're supposed to fold it I don't know but it has the characters from Demon Slayer as you can see I have two more items to show you this one I'm so glad I got this because this was the very last one for Nezuko and again if you don't know I love Nezuko she's my favorite but it's really cute it's like a notepad in a way but basically it provides like an empty space for you right here and you can put whatever you want right here and I love it I love um, the way this looks it's so cute I actually use it in a journal spread let me show you but um, I was doing some journaling for the past few days and I use it when I was like journaling about Japan hey sneak peek I guess and as you can see it says Japan and then I put the date on the side I really like it I think this looks really cute and you know I put this here because I got this in Japan love really like it and then this one I got this because I was like why not it's cheap um how much did I pay damn it they don't have the price um but I'm pretty sure I did not pay a lot for this. I should have gotten more. I should have gotten like all of the characters. But anyway, this one, it has like the nine Hashira. So there's um two different designs. This one, as you can see, the nine Hashira. Let me see if I can. Oh, oh I meant to zoom in. Am I zooming in? There we go. And then this is the second design. This is actually my favorite because it has all of them on the right side. So then there's space on the left side for you to write whatever you want. But yeah really like this very glad i bought these items in japan and you know what in the future i would love to go back and do some more shopping and just like really explore japan because it's such a beautiful country but like i said i didn't i didn't have a lot of time there and now the items that i got in vietnam oh my god <laughs> wow but i got quite a few i will say what's really surprising was that i thought that i bought a lot but then when i came back to the states and looked through everything i realized that i kind of didn't buy a lot i guess real quick we can talk about muji a little bit because i bought a few things literally just a few things um at muji i got like three pens and two of these um 
what do you call it, pencil cases. So real quick, um, as you can see, it looks like this. When you open it up, you put your pens in here. I will say you can only store like three to four pens. Like that is it. You cannot store a whole lot. However, I have like my go-to pens, you know, so I kind of want like a place for the pens to go in here. But then also, I bought two because like maybe I needed to. <laughs> um, they were pretty cheap, so I bought the second one and I've been using this for the pens that I use for school. So I use the Paper Make Ink Joy Gel Pen um, in four different colors for school just to like differentiate the different subjects that I have, you know, so it's easier for me. So yeah, I put them in here and then also when I was at the Muji store Oh my god, yeah, Vietnam has like Uniqlo Muji. I was so happy, but I got some pens. Oh my god, the stationary display was beautiful, but um, I realistically, I just have too many pens and markers here in the States already, and I didn't want to bring in like items that I know I would not touch. So I only got like three pens, you know, and hopefully I'll use them. But I got this purple one, as you can see. This is in, I think, 0.5. Yeah, it's in 0.5. Um, so it's just like a nice purple pen. I got the pink one as well. Hello. And then I got the blue one. It was really annoying. I cannot take the damn tag out. <laughs> it's so annoying. But I got the sky blue one. Hello. I went to like three different places. So let's talk about this one. Um, I went to this place called Mochi. The names are so similar, but there's a place called Mochi and they have a lot of really cutesy items, you know, like souvenirs, like keychains and just like, just a lot of cutesy items. Like I mean it when I say cutesy items. Oh my God, who's texting me? But um, I saw this, they had like a lot of K-pop stuff and I saw this like sticker sheet for Blackpink, so you know, excuse me, I bought it because I love Blackpink if you don't know and it has stickers of all of the girls but lots of stickers for Lisa, like one, two, three, four. When they make another comeback or whatever, I don't know, then I'll use these stickers. Really like them. I'm glad I bought this. And now, oh my gosh, there's this place. It's a beautiful place. I really like it. Oh, I forgot the name. Like, yes, and hi, and something like that. I'll put up the pictures of the building, I guess, because I actually took a picture of it. But basically, um, oh, if you don't know, in Vietnam, there are, you know, bookstores. But inside the bookstore, they sell books, but then they also sell, like, other items as well. And there's always a section for stationary items. So instead of going to, like, a specific stationary shop, I would just go to the bookstores because I know for a fact they would have stationary items. So so that's like a quick tip, I guess, if you are curious. But I got um, mostly stickers and this notepad. It's really cute, as you can see. There are three bears on here. And yeah, you just use this, obviously. It's a notepad. You write what you want. You take it out. It's perfect for your journaling. I mean, for me, obviously. Perfect for my journaling. And then I got lots of stickers, um, a few sticker sheets. But this one, this is like the kind of like... In, what you call it, individual. But basically this one has a lot of purple butterflies. I have this one but in blue. So I want one in purple as you can see. And then lots of um, sticker sheets. So I would say these are pretty similar. This is Flower Market and it's holographic as you can see. And it's just a bunch of bears and bunnies. So that's cute. You can't really see it. I hope you can because you can see like the lighting above. Sorry about that. But I hope this is okay. There's the first one. And then this one, Fruit Feast. Again, just a bunch of um, bears and bunnies. And there's like oranges. <laughs> They're so cute. And then this one, this is actually very cute. This is, is this a dog or a cat? It's a cat, okay. <laughs> wow. Um, some cat stickers. And again, very holographic. Then this one has lots of bunnies, as you can see. Very cute. This one, I thought this would be perfect. But basically, it's like happy birthday theme. And it has like a bunch of teddy bears. And then there's like the birthday cake and all that fun stuff. I got this one because my birthday is coming up. So I cannot wait to do some birthday spreads with this sticker sheet, you know. Is cute. And now last but not least, oh, wow, I really thought about a lot. <laughs> um, I went to this bookstore called Phuong Nam Book City. Real quick, let's talk about this Demon Slayer one. I think this is sticker. I don't remember. It's either a sticker or like, yeah, it's not. I, 
Okay, when I bought this, I thought this was a sticker, but it's actually not. It's more like like a piece of paper with Demon Slayer on it. So you actually had to use your glue to like tape this down in your journal, you know? So that's like a bummer because I actually thought that it's um, stickers, you know, but it's not, unfortunately. However, I'm pretty sure this one is Demon Slayer stickers. So let's open it up and see. Yep, Demon Slayer stickers. They're very cute. Oh my god. Some cuties. Oh my god, they're so cute. But yeah, there's a lot of Demon Slayer stickers in here. This one, I this is so boot like. What is is it's in Vietnamese too? Oh my god, I hated that. But yeah, lots of stickers in here, as you can see. I got some Hello Kitty stickers, obviously. Lots of Hello Kitty stickers. As you can see, they're very cute. I actually use um, a few in my journal. Oh my god, that is so adorable. I cannot wait to organize everything. Oh yeah, I definitely need to organize all of my stationery to be honest. I want them to be more organized. So yeah, I'm glad I bought this one. And then I got this sticker sheet. It's so cute. Love, obsessed, are you kidding me? Um, wonderful stickers. <laughs> Um, it has like girlies on here and like some cute items and it's like 3D because it's like raised a little bit you can feel it you know but yeah this one's cute this is only a dollar which is really nice and then last but not least I got this oh I'm so glad I have this actually but it's basically just like papers you know but I like it because um, it's like the perfect shade of brown and I think it's really cute when you put it in your journal and you write on it or you can use this to like write letters to your loved ones so yeah I really like the um, the look of it so that's why I bought this pack I really wish I bought more but I didn't really see um, a lot of packs for this I guess I don't know why am I struggling right now but yeah, I bought this and I'm glad I did. Oh, this is the brand, I guess. Boxy Foxy. <laughs> That's so funny. And then Hope Yim Handmade. But those are all of the items that I got when I was in Japan and in Vietnam. Very happy with everything. Um, again, I was kind of conscious. Like, I want to buy stationary items, but I don't want to buy a whole lot because I already have a lot here in the States, you know? So, I was having fun, but I was also controlling myself. But yeah, that's basically it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe for more videos, and I will see you guys later. Goodbye!